guys and girls lovely morning with some uh, looks like bad weather on its way so a small window to quickly have a couple of throws uh, ended up having my morning started with a flat tire on the bucky so I quickly changed that and uh, Caroline and Mila came ahead having just a bit of a beach day so I'm gonna have a throw or two for, for some bronze green it is their time of the year the winter time where they start there's been a lot around and I actually ask, I want to ask all you guys out there to be responsible with that if they're biting and there's a lot around that you don't just keep for the sake of keeping only what you can use and what your limit is in fact not even the limit just take what's necessary because they are very slow growing fish they're not a fast growing fish now, all your reef fish and your your resident fish is slow growers so keep that in mind and just be responsible you know, it's not, it's not just me, but there's thousands of people that enjoy fishing and would love to catch a bronze bream and our next generations and their generations. So yeah, let's start off. This spot particular, the water is very flat, so there's not much working water. I prefer a bit more working water on this particular spot. You get to know your spots for, for uh, specific species. And uh, bronze bream being very particular, there's about three little spots of about a two meter radius that I normally get them but there's only one of those spots can produce a, a really good size sometimes all the big ones I've got in exactly the same spot and we're a very particular bite a very slow movement as those bigger fish do in bass fishing and a lot of other fishing you hardly feel them sometimes you have to be so sharp the braid and all of that helps with that but also it, it's, a, it's got a counter curse if you can call it that if you keep it too tight they can also feel you so it's a, it's a fine line but that thank goodness uh, ensures the survival of the species because you catch one in a few but let's have a shot at that and see if we're lucky today Late winter months and early spring on the Natal south coast means a lot of bronze bream, the start of the brusher, and for the guys that really target them, some really good sized rock art moves in. The odd cob and garrick showed their faces this year as well. And all these species mentioned is worth protecting. Cob especially, and then all the rock art and reef fish like bronze bream, and in the Cape Hulyun. It's very slow growing fish and in many cases residential. So we call on all anglers to respect these species. Fish responsible and with consideration. Unfortunately, I haven't had much time to get out to target the bronze bream this year yet. And with the August winds really stirring up our oceans this year, I was a bit on the late side and went out to Stabel to one of my favorite spots. Fishing was tough and conditions weren't right. A week prior, the guys caught quite a few bronze bream in this area, and I hope some of them were at least released. After a while of trying and not getting any success, I moved to a different spot, which is extremely challenging and can mean that you lose quite a bit of tackle. But nine times out of ten, there's at least one bronze bream. Uh, that's where we got the bite. Not a big 
big one. Although the day is still enjoyable, there weren't many fish and only the one little bronze beam showed its face. It is a good idea to move around to different bronze beam spots because sometimes they just sand it up. And even on those spots, try different little... Now a little over a week later only, I met up with Kumaran at one of his favourite bronze beam spots at Annerley. And again we just chose the day wrong. Alright guys, this is uh, one of Kumaran's spots. I'm uh, meeting him this morning. I haven't fished the spot, so he's, uh, he's our guide today. And he gave me some direction already. So I'm going to try with, uh, with a double trace. I'll show you guys a bronzy hook in the uh, top for a bronze bream. And then just a bigger circle hook on the bottom where I'll put a bigger bait. Uh, for a, maybe a cob or a rock cod or something swimming in the area. The brushes should start as well. And uh, you never know, so we we kind of preempt beforehand. But thanks, I've been bad. Eh? Three weekends now, I haven't come out. Uh, well, it's good to have you so back. Guilty. It's good to have you back fishing. So hopefully today we can get stuck on some fish. Guys, we're fishing at Annerley today. It's a lovely place. Nice for the family as well to come down. It's a tidal pool here. Uh, guys walking their dogs a lot down the side. Good fishing spots as well. Uh, we get a lot of bronze. No beam parking here. though. No parking. That's the only, only, only bad part. But it's a good bronzy spot. Uh, we do get brush here as well. So we normally fish more on the behind the dive pool here, and into that bay. It's lovely areas. And all the way to the left to foot plot. Is, yes. Is all good areas. All yeah. good areas. That's correct. And further down is actually Southport Main Beach. So if you decide on walking down the stretch, you can get to Southport from here as well. And safety wise, yes. It's very safe. Very yeah, safe. Yeah, it's very safe. Very, very, very safe. So it's, it's a good family spot, like we said here. Good. So where's your family? I'm going to bring them along today. You told me it's a good family spot. I brought the family. Alright cool. guys, see you guys soon. We're going to tackle up, put some baits on. And we'll see you on the fish. Cheers. Hey guys. This is uh, the trace I'll use for this. Now normally if you if you use two hooks you get stuck more often. That's just logic, all right? But on the bottom, this Marutu hooks we've been using for scratching in between reefy areas, a bigger hook. This is a 4 -0. It's slightly off center, so you can even strike it. It's got great success on striking as well. But a great hook to fish on the bottom for a bigger fish that won't get stuck as easily as a J hook. So keep that in mind when you're fishing in the reefy areas. You don't want to mess up the area full of <laughs> broken traces and it, it costs a lot of money in any case. So what I'm fishing, I'm fishing a hundred pound uh, braided leader. Slightly longer, about four meters, five meters. And that's Saltiga. I don't think you get it anymore. Yeah, in South Africa, they don't bring it in. And then at the top hook, I've still got a chinu. The new chinus, they're extra strong. A one, size one. I've got a little 10 mil float. And on here, I'm using 0.48 fluorocarbon. I like fishing light for the bronze bream. I believe I get uh, bigger fish. And I was just telling, uh, telling Kumaran and that's very personal. It's what gives you confidence in fishing that produces the results. Now I've got a lot of confidence with head-on prawn I get from Atkan Marine. If you give me fresh cracker shrimp, fresh chocker, I'll fish it. But if you give me a choice with head-on prawns from Atkan, well, now you guys must, we brought especially some good inspiration and background, background uh, uh, white noise, which is Miller. She's joined us today and Caroline's here and we're gonna catch the first fishy for Mila. 
Yes. She can't wait to come fishing, but she's just, just, just not 100% handy yet. Here I've got a mustard uh, sinker clip that I use. In between the rocks, it helps as well. Because that knot you make on your sinker hits the rocks a lot. And then it, when you look again, your sinker breaks off for no real reason. So those clips or fishing a loop, both, quite effective. Okay guys, now that's the trace. My two hooks, I'll fish prawn on the top and I'm going to fish an octopus and cray. A piece of cray on the bottom. And I can even fish a piece of sardine right now, I think. Hi right, guys, this is my one year fish. Let's uh, my power to really pull them to the rocks. Oh, and she's not a bronze, it's a ass. Lovely, lovely, lovely fish. The mustard have got him properly. Should I get the dog quickly? Hold the swing once in place. Thank you. There you go, guys. Lovely, lovely ass. Very, very, very beautiful fish. Uh, you get them quite often here as well. And uh, very, very, very pretty. Actually, beautiful. There you go. Lovely fight, light tackle, beautiful fish. Let's get another bait and keep trying for the bronzes. So prawn, easy, unique scissors, the mustard scissors. Open it up. Take it out of the shell. I first detach it on the side, otherwise it tears your bait up. And then I turn this inside out on the hook. Okay, we'll do that now. Then on the sword here. Okay. All right, just hold that to the back. Now the whole idea with these baits always is you want the small fish to climb onto this. You want that uh, that cloud of sardine, or whatever else you put on there. Sardine obviously forms it quicker. Get him. What? Yes. Okay. Very ugly bait. Here we go the bottom bait. Then just a little blobby. The quicker that side comes off, the happier I am. And let's just do this prawn bait. And the neater you make this little sausage, better you hook up right. Another thing with bronze bream, very important, is not to put too much cotton where the meaty area is but rather secure it to the top. This gets you better bites and hopefully some bigger bites. I'll try and jump back in. I've been doing it every time. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go see if we can uh, entice something. guys now it's either big shed or <laughs> I can't think that there'll be a, a little tootsie critter there 
but it was Big Shed that took me on a uh, nice pull on the circle look and took my hook. Guys, guys, okay, tackle that I'm actually using today. The guy was 11 to 11 to 6 power spin. I saw Tiva 4.5, very about JB. Standard uh, scratching place that I'm using. I've got a, a master look at the bottom. Fishing with crayfish bait. And I like fishing uh, the bronze bait. And I'm using crayfish, especially when the water's a bit warm. Uh, if the water's a bit too cold, then I don't actually use crayfish. I stick to the problem. When the water's a bit warm, like how it is now, I use crayfish. You hardly cut them. You cut them very lightly. I'll show you a bait demo a little bit later on. And uh, where I'm actually throwing for the fish is in the drains that are here. You look for the working white water. You just you just put it behind a reef or, or next to a rock where you see the formation is perfect. And you get a pull. That's what just what happened now when I caught that bass. Uh, I actually threw it in the drain. And uh, as soon as the water started working with the waves, I got that pull. And I'm on. So put another bait. See if we get a bronze in now. Targeted species, bronze beam, small, not the biggest. But yeah, that's what we're targeting today. So they've been quite a bit of small ones around, and a few big ones. So yeah, I'm gonna get this guy back. Sorry, we couldn't get that up club. It was a bit too far from where our stuff was. But yeah, it's a lovely, lovely little bronzy. We got here. Just gonna get the hook out. As you can see, the mustard hook got it perfect. It's a beautiful, beautiful bronzy. I'm gonna keep this guy in a rock pool so he doesn't scare all the other bronzies away. And then uh, put him back for later once we're done fishing. So I'm gonna look for another rock pool now. And I'll put him there. Let's put him in the rock pool here. around. You can feel the smaller fish on this side. I believe uh, Kabaran got a bronze beam on that side. So well, they, they give you that pull, but they're not pressing you flat. They like pull you halfway. <laughs> you want that flat pull so you can set the hook. Sharp shot out. Put another bait. Yep, shot me out. Put another bait. Get another one. I think I'm actually looking at the bait here. Kumara at least got one nice bronze bream and thereafter we were just feeding the quarantine. Stealing our bait at a pace you couldn't keep up with. Lovely spot but quite sanded up with all the heavy weather we had over the last week. Forming a sandbank and with a big surf kicking up quite a bit of sand. Not allowing a lot of bronze bream to come in to the usual areas. put a caro at the back there but the, the surf's very big at the back so we're not sure if it's gonna work 
Uh, doesn't mean we, we shouldn't try. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna make a drop loop in my sinker somewhere. Maybe there. Hook it onto the drone and see if we can get it over that white foam. Kamaran just saw a smash there as well by one of those rocks we can see. So let's see if that's an option. Get it out, Greek! The Greek. I eventually opted to take a Carantina cord and fly it out with the drone just behind the surf in search of a Garrick maybe passing by. The drag of the surf was quite heavy and ended up pulling my sinker into a reef and I was solidly stuck. We we'll also noticed some dolphin playing around in the area. Now I hooked this carotene up with a circle hook just above the eyes. And with the intelligence of dolphins, they can quite easily take that fish off the hook without you even knowing. That was nice in any, any yeah. case, yeah. Um, no, but we daddy. didn't get... <laughs> Mila is not happy that we're going now, but we're packing up. Not a lot of bronze bream came in. We tried the garrick in the back. I got into, pulled into a reef with a drag of the line. Uh, the surf is a bit big for it, but we daddy, still... Daddy, stop him! I got a daddy Exactly what she just said. We daddy, still had to try. Daddy, we have to try. Now daddy. she's hitting the cameraman. But uh, yeah, well, we'll try again next yeah, weekend. Definitely. We'll come yeah, back yesterday he told me he got a whole bunch of bronze bream, yeah. Um, yeah, I saw one today. So you caught all of you kept all of them then? No, they're gone. We put them back now. I think we spooked the fish away. Yeah. But yeah, no, thanks. No problem. Hopefully, soon we get some nice edibles. Yeah, it's ugly the sand that's uh, washed in here. Yeah. Terrible. Thanks guys, thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified uh, every time we upload a video and also like our videos, it really helps us. Thanks for watching. The weather was beautiful and it was a great day on the beach, even though there weren't a lot of bites. But we'll be out soon again to give it a good go for some of those bigger bronze bream with those wide shoulders. A real good fight on the lighter tackle. There are many baits you can target them with, including cracker shrimp, choco blob baits and prawn, available at most tackle stores. But I still prefer, over the years it's proven itself, the head-on prawns from Atkan Marine. Really made a difference for me when fishing for bronze bream. Thank you guys for watching and join us soon. We will be targeting these species again.